Go. I'm gonna lose this game so hard. I haven't been playing almost at all lately. <laughs> <laughs> Especially one v one. Yeah, exactly. He is primed and ready, so we will see. All at least I have good found. excuses, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Whoa, that's nice. Oh, wow. Well, we shouldn't. We shouldn't commentate too much. At least. At least I'm not what PB is finding. <laughs> I guess you guys will want to commentate. I can maybe hop out of Skype. You might just want to. Yeah, you might want to drop out of Skype. We'll, we'll hang up on you. Yeah. You guys go and do that. High levels of aluminum found. I've worked with Mercy. Don't worry. We'll have this outpost off the ground in no time. Robotic colony expanded. All right, stream. I don't really know what's going to happen this game. I kind of valued maybe a bit too much founding all of this stuff just to be able to sell it to maybe push for a bit faster upgrade. I don't know if I'm going to have this carbon quite as fast as I need it to take a big advantage off of that. But hopefully it won't be too bad. I have to start thinking about what's going to be valuable this game. We've got this three silicon here. That might be, well, there's some pretty okay silicon on the map. I've even got a little bit right next to my base that should suffice if necessary. We have some pretty solid water nearby. This nice three tile, this nice three tile with a two adjacency if I want that instead. And another one over here. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Also, power surges might be quite beneficial this game. So I'm going to have to think about that. Aluminum shouldn't be much of an issue. Not going to think about that too much at all. Do I just want to hit the upgrade? I think I do. Let's take it. Where's the plot? I think I want this. This is a pretty good tile. Why is the game giving away my tile? I don't really appreciate this at all, but okay. I guess I'll take what I can get, right? It's still a claim auction. I mean, I don't mind having that tile, I guess. PB might be discouraged away from it as opposed to a normal claim auction. and. Well, maybe not. 16, well, it's still okay. 18, That's a lot of debt for a tile right next to my base, which hurts quite a bit. But well, I guess I'll take I'll take what I can get. We can put a little silicon quarry there. Let's go ahead and grab. I think this water tile sounds just fine, and I'm gonna have to find a quick way to make money. Reactors sound like an okay idea. Uh, possibly also glass furnaces. Not the worst decision at this stage of the game. Let's get a water pump down, get the quarry down, and maybe just move into those glass furnaces. I like the idea of it. A little more aluminum might not hurt either, but I don't know if it's entirely necessary. Reactor's also a distinct option. I'm not really sure which way would be best to go. Maybe the reactors are what we can start with. We'll need to move into power later and such, but this should be okay. We just need more carbon. Maybe I could just take that. A third carbon tile. I don't have huge amounts of carbon coming in for any real amount of money, so. Just spread things out a little bit. We'll make it work. Revolted colony expanded. I would love to get an EMP and or power surge off before too long. He's already gotten to make a really nice claim auction. So I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and push for this power surge by selling off all the things. And just going with it. Make sure these are on auto supply. And there we go. Gonna have to get into power before too terribly long. I am not seeing a lot of power out of him at all. Which is a bit risky to his stock price. His stock price nice and high. He didn't have to take that first auction like I did. So his debt hasn't gone too out of control yet. But it's a good thing to watch out for nonetheless. We can sell off some oxygen and fuel without too much worry. He's not using either of those resources the at the moment, so they're not going to be particularly valuable to him. Black market's back online. Don't know if I can afford another hit. Think I'd rather push for an upgrade. It is an option. It is an option if there's anything of his I really want to knock out, but I'm not seeing anything that I really am like, man, I should just attack that now. An interesting choice for PB's solar panel. Not, not sure about that one, but maybe it'll work for him. All right, let's go ahead and take this up. All these new people. I don't know everybody's name yet. I have some decent wind tiles available. I think nothing too fantastic. 
wind is kind of my natural resource, but I can use silicon with solar panels if I really, really want to. High water tile right there. I guess we can bid up on this a bit. It's not huge, but it's nice. It can still be used as just an average tile, so maybe we will buy into it a significant amount. Not too much, but I'd love to drive him into a fair amount of debt with it as well. 14,000, I think that's time to let it go. That will be okay, and we're just going to take a page out of PB's book right here. And get down our power on top of our opponent as well. Unfortunately, his early start working out very, very well for him. We're having a little bit of trouble pushing to all the black market we're going to need all the time. His reactor is still making some amount of money at least, so hopefully that won't be too bad. This is the downside to Scavenger, realistically. It is so much easier to make money on steel than carbon. It is so much easier. It can be a very, very difficult task as a scavenger, figuring out how to actually make your money. Well, go ahead and claim this tile here. The black market is online. Yes, yes, can't use the black market, unfortunately. Can't really sell off silicon to help with this. There we are. And I'll just keep pushing to that next upgrade. Another power surge would be amazing. Another EMP would be pretty good as well. Don't know exactly where all of his goon squads are placed, but he's only really got one. I can only hit it once. Surplus on the silicon might be useful. Hoping we can push to another upgrade before too long. Maybe a claim, because we've never gotten a hold of one of those. This is the hard part of scavenger. All right, he's sending out some more power. That's understandable. Power is pretty nuts right now and might stay that way. This silicon tile, not doing as much for us as I would hope. It's actually costing us money once we start factoring in power. So I think I'm just going to shut it down for the time being. This needs to be on auto supply. You get over here. Expanded. And we're just looking for the expansion. Shouldn't be too much longer. No, we actually turned off our carbon tiles in the middle of all that. Not the best idea. There we are. We just got to get to this glass. Glass getting nice and high. We will be able to move into glass furnaces fairly effectively before too terribly long. And then hopefully, maybe just make some steel of our own. Steel's looking real nice. Might just need to turn these into steel mills. They're not making a huge amount of money right now. Well, they're actually at a net revenue of minus 17 because of their power cost. Still worthwhile to leave on because we need to push for this expansion. But not for very much longer. All right, I just need let's to get these glass furnaces cars. down as fast as we can. Keep selling stuff. There we are. Freelance pirates are and then scrap scrap. To the highest bidder. Get down some steel production. Three thousand. Four thousand. Six thousand. How good are these actually? I mean, they can be used to take my carbon. I'm not too concerned about that. I am concerned still about debt. Mine's much lower than his is at this point, though. Man, I would love to get another EMP out. All right, I think I'm going to let him go for 12,000. Don't care all that much about the pirates. These glass furnishes should, with their adjacency bonuses, be making us fairly decent money. The reactors might be able to make a little bit more money later, but I'm very worried about their power cost in particular. So I think the steel mills... Of equal power cost, but making $106 of steel a second could be a little bit more worthwhile. He's going to take my carbon, not too concerned about that. I do have one more claim. I've been really indecisive about this, thinking that maybe... Well, I've got to sell some glass. Here we go. Maybe the best option with it is going to be some more power, because power is still going pretty nuts. I'll have to pay a lot of money for that, but I think it's probably the best option. Don't really want to mutiny him at the moment because he could just mutiny right back. So we're instead we're just going to knock down his steel a little bit more. These unfortunately haven't made us anything. Steel price he tanked pretty hard as soon as I got them back online. Turn this. Or as soon as I put them up. So they may need to move into food here. Thankfully it didn't cost too much money to make all that happen. He is putting down a hacker array. That could be a bit of a problem if we don't get one of our own down for too terribly long. And a carbon surplus. Man, of all the things we did not need right now. I gotta get this other 
silicon tile down. I just haven't been making the money I need to this game realistically. So incredibly difficult as a scavenger. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't play a whole lot of scavenger in the 1v1 matchup, so it's a little bit it's a little bit interesting. That's for sure. These probably costing me a fair amount of money right now due to power. I'd love to start making money off of power. Might have been a bad decision to move them as I did when I did. We're instead going to try and get into a little bit of food. I have to imagine this would be iron getting hacked. He's got glass production down as well, which threw me off a little bit, if I'm honest. Why is his... D oh, he also has the adjacency bonuses off of this nice little silicon tile. That's my big problem. So he's actually making glass better than we are at the moment. Man, talk about issues. Well, the food production's up, finally. Should have left the reactors alone. Should have known that even EMPing is steel, it wouldn't work out. Well, glass coming in. It's getting real expensive for me to make glass, though. These might need to go into reactors. Thankfully, we can switch buildings without too much of a problem right now, and I'm just going to have to be on the lookout for what this hack is actually up to. Don't think I'll be able to actually take it down at all. Just going to potentially grab up a nice little power surge to hit all of this. Food surplus! Is that what he did with the hack array? It's totally what he did with the hack array. <sighs> Come on. I need to get a hack array of my own down. I really wish this auction hadn't happened, by the way. We're going to go ahead and upgrade. We're going to throw down a little more silicon income. That's where I clicked that button. All right. We don't really need to make any more glass. We do need to get down a hacker array. That is my big concern right now. You know what? I'll just put an aluminum mine there for now. That's fine. Oh, food surplus. How could you betray me so? That's all right. Hacker Ray is going to go up. We need to push to 12,000 for a goon squad on that. Don't know if that's ever going to happen. Naturally, EMPing our oxygen, but we can just put down a little more. And hopefully that'll be okay. That market is online. Well, food. They're losing me money. I guess that's what happens when I try and, you know, do things like that. We could just move into electronics, keep him from hacking that resource too terribly effectively. Steer plus on fuel. Shouldn't be a surprise in any way, thankfully. He also got rid of my fuel production, so I don't really quite understand the full thought process there. I think these just have to turn into electronics factories at this point. And let's look at what else we can do. Patent lab might not be the worst idea in the world. Not really liking the look of the engineering bay. Do have the question of can I actually make a push for an off-world in this game? You know, I don't know if the electronics were the best decision. I'm actually changing my mind about those. I want to go into steel again just for a moment and I want to start a surplus here. I'd love to get to a goon. Can I make that push? I think I can. There we are. Now, what's an off-world going to cost? Surplusing electronics does a bunch of things for me. First of all, he has electronics production down. That's not going to be working out too terribly well for him. Second, oh, I have an extra claim left still. It's probably going to go. Is he really? No. Okay. Second, it makes the off-world easier to construct, which is also potentially very important. I don't think that was his short, so he doesn't necessarily know it's coming in. I'll have to check and see how much he has stored up right now. He's got about 50,000 in resources. I'm sitting on about 40,000. I doubt he had all of that in steel right away, though, so we might get a bit more of a benefit out of this. Oh, no, he had a huge store of steel. Well, okay, threw the dynamite out. Did he really rebuy again? Hold on. Okay, there we go. Sell... What's he sitting at? 107. Wow, he got a huge benefit out of that. He was sitting on way more steel than I expected. I'm going to try and make this happen, guys. This is probably a terrible decision. And he actually... So he's got a natural steel short on top of his hacked steel short. All right. Well, we're dead. Game with the carbon surplus and the steel short. A little bit hard to push through. Don't really know what I'm supposed to do about that, but that's okay. We tried. We definitely tried. What can I actually do from here? I suppose a short onto oxygen is kind of the way to go. I'm going to let him have it for 14 if that's what he wants it for. I'm a little nervous about taking on the 12 here. 
He's actually going to give it to me. Not too surprising. He wants to go for the buy. Another thing I need to pay attention to, his debt's actually completely insane. Whereas mine is almost non-existent. The black market is online. Unfortunately, I can't buy enough into this to actually punish him for it to any degree. What I can do is just start going after his stock before he goes after mine. And possibly, possibly, take the game. Your stock is being bought. These are auto supplying, yes, good, okay. Your stock is being bought. He's buying into both of us. Makes a lot of sense right now, in my opinion. Your Certainly a good decision on his bought. part. How much does he have? He's still sitting on 115. Thanks, game. Thanks for all these shorts that you threw his way. That's that's real helpful. Unfortunately, he's not making me a whole lot of money anymore. I don't think I'm gonna be in this game a whole lot longer. And that's pretty much GG. I'm sitting on 18,000, he's got 100,000 still. How ridiculous is that? That natural steel short really took us down, unfortunately. Not a whole lot to do from there. If I'd gotten the one send off, I think we'd have gotten it. Random events in 1v1, GG. That's pretty much the summary for that game. I think I had it if he hadn't had two random events go his way completely. But that hurt a lot, and I did everything I could with it. Oh well. Made an effort. PB just had that stockpile of resources, and my stock price, my very high stock price compared to his, couldn't make a dent. As you can see, we bought too, did too much buying into this deal, too much. We bought a whole bunch of electronics. I did have an option there of scrapping the off-world and then selling all the resources. I thought about it, but by the time I got around to it, I figured I didn't have enough from doing that to actually push for the win because PB was able to buy up half of his stock and all of mine. Thank you very much, Steel. Let's go ahead and look. Oh yeah, look, PB made all his money on Steel Shorts. That's the game. Random events in 1v1 are balanced. Zoltar? Yep. Hey, how's it going? It's, it's going steel shortage. Yeah. Well, that was the obvious move. We were kind of okay, yeah, and if it had just been him, maybe that would have been okay. Oh, was there a natural? <laughs> there were plenty of natural steel shortages, at least yeah, one. Like yeah. <laughs> And the thing is, it came like back to back with his forced steel short. Like they just hit right in a row and it's like, oh, PB has 200,000 resources and I'm dead. <laughs> GG. If that hadn't happened, I think I had the game, actually. Yeah, well, I had the off world constructed. One off world yeah. send buys me literally all of his stock. Yeah, there was this one point though where you had about $20,000 in cash. He had about a $3 stock price. Yeah, and I didn't and spot his low stock price fast enough because I'm sitting here trying to commentate and play at the same time. Yeah. Which I shouldn't do against PB. Yeah, yeah, it was tough. I mean, you made some good moves. It looked like you were going to turn the game around, which I thought was going to be you know, really remarkable. Because, uh, you know, I thought you definitely had the early game lead. Um, but yeah, I think you should have put that in, in stock and some off the market. But I think so, too. That probably would have been a good decision if I had noticed his ridiculously <laughs> low stock price. And I thought about that afterward, where I'm like, I had actually thought about just stopping the off-world market construction completely, getting those 100 electronics back and going for it, but it would have been too late by the time I noticed it, right? Like, it would have been too late by the time I realized it was happening. Do you surplus electronics so you can build an off-world market? Uh, yes, in part. I mean, it was, it was a combination of factors. First of all, PB was surplusing fuel. Fuel was $600 off-world, so I was like, maybe I can make use of that just by sending fuel off world. So I start sh shorting, trying to short oxygen, right? Because I'm making fuel and oxygen. I can send the fuel off world and that's still okay. I can sell the oxygen and make some money off of that. So I surplus his electronics. He has electronics production going down. It's gonna be making him a fair amount of money at this stage of the game. And so I do a, an electronic surplus in the hopes of just making this chain reaction of events happen. And then the two steel shorts come in and I don't have enough time. I mean, you can see the steel price just skyrocket entirely, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely would love to see what would happen, though, if he was on the hot spot with you on half the stock.